Ash vs. Evil Dead, Season 1, Episode 8, Thoughts. This episode is called Ashes to Ashes, a delicious pun. Spoilers for everything Evil Dead leading up to and including this episode. The, yeah, the show is rated TVMA, so will this video be. And yeah, let's dive right in. So, yeah, as Ash approaches the cabin, you know, we see this these dead, you know, adorable little birds and he picks up one sorry Tweety and then it moves it's like ah! and you know, throws it on a tree and it just splatters all over it. Very cool. Honey, I'm home. And yeah, the the ah uh, the suspended bench without feet you know legs is is like banging against the 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 side of the the cabin until he gets close to the door just like in the first movie good use of of audio clips from the first movie as well and yeah amanda shows up got to say i kept expecting and at, at first for her to turn out to just be a hallucination of ashes but then she you know had that flashback maybe that's part of why that's there to to tell us no this really is amanda and she says they split up but is it I mean, they didn't quite split up i guess since pablo and kelly are together or i guess it's possible that they unsplit sp split down Assembled it down. And let's see. Use of, of flashbacks. You know, she flashes back to her partner dying. You know, which... Yeah, the... the yeah, being impaled. And he flashes back with the... Um, what's it called? The, the, cab, the, the cellar door. Most beautiful word in the English language. You know, being... Yeah, um, the the deadite struggling to open that, and yeah, off in the in the little you know yeah the the thing we see the hand and it's grown an eye because eyes are just creepy when they're in the wrong spot like that, and that's of course setting up that it's growing an entire new ash. Which happened real, real quick there. I guess they used shake and bake or something. But yeah, you know, evil Ash returns and the, yeah, very nicely done there. And yeah, Pablo and Kelly are struggling to, to find their way. And, you know, they, they went all the way back to where they started because... The car is right there. I like the the jokes about Pablo being like a, a scout. But if if Kelly did need to go and she squats, do you dig a hole before or after? It's before. And yeah, they run into the <clears throat> the um yeah the three others, which I gotta say really made me think of like Blair Witch Project, but yeah, I feel like that might be an intentional reference. But the, um, yeah, you know, they, they see the guns and like, oh, you know, please, please don't. And, and they're like, oh no, we, yeah, we use these to, to fight evil bears, evil bears. <laughs> And I love, because everyone's a fool in the Evil Dead universe, they, they just completely buy it. Oh, yeah, sure. They have a, you know, she's running around with an assault rifle for bears. And let's see. Like, even if you weren't to say, oh, you know, we, the reason we have guns at all is in case of a bear, you don't want to be, like, waving it around like that, you know, that they come across people and like almost instinctively they're pointing their guns at them you know or, or the the 
I'm not sure Kelly was, but Pablo, you know, yeah. And, yeah. Ash has to go to the work shed. And... I guess it's kind of... Is it sweet? I guess it's like a protective thing that Kelly doesn't want Pablo with Samara Weaving's Heather. Yeah, it's got to be a reference because because Blair Witch Project that was also at, uh, that also had a Heather. <laughs> and and she says, oh well, you know, maybe I'll find a cute bear. She wants to settle for being beard. And let's see. Yeah, great stuff when Ash talks to to Linda, who, you know, at, at this point, like, she's going through actors faster than, you know, the the characters getting killed off in these things. The you know, the the um, IMDB trivia for this episode notes, it's the fourth Fourth appearance and fourth actress. So, yeah. And... Yeah, she she taunts him, you know, saying, No one will ever love you. We'll always make sure you're alone. And making some, some oral references. Because she's, you know... She likes to, to mess with him and, and you know... By the end, he takes her out, and it's like, you should have quit while you were ahead. And, yeah, we learn, you know, or, yeah, she says, you you were supposed to take me to Florida. And, yeah, so, Evil Ash talks to Amanda and suggests they run, and she realizes it's, this is not... Yeah, because she sees the, the hand, and you have the line, you know, maybe I grew a new hand, maybe parts are going to grow back me. And, yeah, very cool when, when Ash is, is fighting, the you know, first there's these saw blades that are going, getting tossed at him, and then there's like this... Ah, what's it called? Like a bear, bear trap kind of thing, and he has to like fight it off. Just yeah, with the with the crowbar, very cool. And Amanda does manage to to cut off the hand and then cut it slightly apart, cutting off the fingers. So it's either done for or it's at least like weakened. But yeah, ultimately, you know, for, first evil Ash tries to to fridge her. Ultimately, he he kills her by impaling her after you know revealing some cleavage. So you know, other than the death part, much like what regular Ash was hoping would happen here. And yeah, very cool when the two Ashes fight each other, and I, you know, the the moment of you know Pablo and Kelly are like. Ash, what did you do? Yeah. Very cool cliffhanger. Really looking forward to seeing what happens next. And, oh. <clears throat> apparently, according to IMDb Trivia, this is not the first time that Evil Ash has returned by regenerating from Ash's severed hand. It also happened in the comic series Army of Darkness, Ashes to Ashes, <clears throat> with a number two instead of T.O. And, yeah, very cool. I'm afraid I have not read the, the comics. The scenes in the woods surrounding the cabin were actually shot indoors. They built the set in an equestrian center. And, let's see. Yeah, um... I think that is about what I have to say. Yeah, I, th I think they did, you know, this is not the 
you know, obviously Evil Ash is also going to appear in the the very next episode since he didn't die by the end of this one. But yeah, it was it was very cool to see him again. I th think they did the the character justice. You know, he is a big part of. You know, he's responsible for a lot of the best stuff in Army of Darkness. And let's see. I think that is. Yeah. So next episode I will cover in about a week. I'm thinking eight days, possibly six. Everybody dies here. It's just a rule. Death, taxes, more death. And I don't pay taxes, so all I know is death.